polyester foam blank. Here's where we put supports for fins, through holes. These are aluminum blocks that have been uh, epoxied in place. Wax fill the holes in the in the block. And the foam sheets shaped on the top. So <clears throat> you get the profiling edge. Here's the aluminum block close up. Alright. And epoxy, we're using West System with pumps. 105 resin. We'll use a slow hardener. It's a little clearer, a little nicer. <clears throat> Here's a template. This was a paper template that was made, used to make the masonite template. So, printed paper template, masonite template, temp masonite template transferred to foam. And foam using a little offset block, offset block with a sharpie marker. Like that draw an edge, all the way on the outside, and that was what was done on the top side here to set the angle. All right, rocker table. It's two by sixes. Cut the shape of the rocker into it. Supports between it, and then a quarter inch plywood top sheet, and then mylar on top of that using vacuum bag material here just packing tape to seal it down to the table and a port there so prepared all the layers I'm going to use two layers of approximately eight ounce glass or I'm sorry carbon fiber top and bottom you got two layers that are cut at a 45 degree angle and two layers that are cut on a 0 90 one on each top and bottom so we're, now we're going to work our way through the board, from the bottom of the board to the top. So here what we're doing is trying to work out the bubbles. When you first lay this down, the, you know, obviously the, the sheet is all, the, all the space between the fibers is filled with air. And you can't, whatever the, this sheet comes out, that's what your bottom, the, the goal of this board is to not have to finish the bottom. Finish the bottom. It should look beautiful. Without sanding. Without sanding or clear coating or... Here, I'll just leave it a little wet. It's going to soak right through anyways, I think. Yeah, it just didn't want to be like any heavy piles. Alright, so layer number two. Let's try and find center. So this is what you're saying you're gonna So this is the, the thing that we're gonna put around the edge. Foam is just being 
push the down floor. to by the, the there's sticky stuff on the, oh, okay. on the thing which is just a little bit and then the weights are holding it down until we oh, okay. once we put the next layer on there it'll the, when we close the vacuum bag it'll get pushed down so if we let this go it'll poof up and it'll ruin all that nice work we just did on the edge All right, so now yeah. we're gonna put the perforated <laughs> release. It's a, it's a thrill. Here, my, my right, pull tight. Pull tight. What's that? Mm -hmm. Your jacket. Your jacket. <laughs> pull tight. So what this does is this is coated with a, a, a some release agent they call it, which keeps it so it, it doesn't comes with that paper. It won't stick to the. It's already built into paper when yeah, you buy yeah. it. Yeah. So, so it won't stick to the epoxy. Yeah, so once the epoxy's dry, that stuff just peels right off. The peel fly keeps it so that where those little holes are, the epoxy would come through and stick to this, and this would like glue to it. But this makes a barrier so that it, the foam, the, the 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 cotton stuff can't oh, glue itself nice. down to the, the little things that come through. I'm, 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 why, why do you put this stuff? That absorbs the excess resin that'll get sucked up through, and also allows the vacuum to draw the air out. All right, so. like this thick rubber And of course, Christian, Michael, Louis, <laughs> and me.